Hi, um, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to uh, explain the front end of Listio theme. How it works, how it looks like. We will also discuss uh, its back end um, as well. Okay, let's continue. So if you go to the Listio.pro website, uh, you will see their theme demo, which looks like something like this. You can see a blog and then they have this small card design and then there are testimonials. You can also see some listings. Uh, these are mixed uh, listings because uh, meaning that they have uh, uh, different types of listings available like the rentals, services, events, and classifiers. They all are mixed and can be uh, seen here. Um, and then there are some popular categories like you see here and then at the end we have this hero image where you can see a search uh, animated text uh, some uh, tagline you can add um, different filters here like other than categories if you want to add something like that like you want to search uh, with the region uh, you can add a filter like uh, of region here so let's see how is search works this is basically the keyword field and this is for uh, this is a location field you type here anything and it will pop up and um, then this is your categories all the categories which have listings they will appear here the blank categories which you have added on your website but they don't have any listing they will not show up here and then this is a search button if we see here we see different categories we call these as a featured categories there is a setting available where you can select feature categories as many as you want and they will show up like this so let's see <clears throat> let's click on the search and see how it looks so this is called the half map search because it has a half map half a page is a map and then we have uh, on the half page we have these filters available and then these are the listings there are different views available for this page this is called the search page and there are four to five uh, um, previews where which you can set if anybody's click on the search so let's see how it looks let me open all of them so i can show you guys how it looks so one view is like this which is called the half map view then we have this list with sidebar this there is this sidebar uh, you can add or remove as many filters as you want and then the listings appear here uh, there we have this option where we can select the grid type listings as well and then the, there is an other view which is called list full width view and it is um it has search and it has listings like this so the search is on the top and the listings are be uh, uh, are down towards the search and the next search is like this <coughs> this is called the full map search you can see the listings on the map and also a view is available here so if anybody some people like map and they like to search on the map because it's easier to see the location and it's quick as well so just go here and you if you click you will get a small information uh, about this about the listing in that area where you are searching so this was all about the search and it's it's preview cards next thing uh, so as we have discussed about the preview cards now let's uh, uh, let's discuss about their main thing which is their user dashboard so from this is a user dashboard which can which is for uh, for the customers for the owners it is same for both of them and uh, here you can see the messages list you has this 
functionality available where you can uh, message people or people can message you so you can chat uh, we have this uh, booking option available you can see either it has pending bookings if you have any approved bookings or if you have any cancelled bookings then we have this wallet this wallet basically is for commissions uh, or if you are getting any bookings and all the money will gather into this wallet like how much you have withdrawn uh, what were your total earnings and how much you how many orders did you receive so all of the things are set up here goes here in this wallet um, other than that you can add listing from here as well and then you can add it from this button as well so if you click on this button you can select a package like this you can buy that package and simply click on submit listing so we have four types of listing types available in listio one is services then you can have rent and event and classified rent is basically like you want to rent an apartment or rent a room it's like airbnb and in classifieds it's like you can sell products and events are events and services here you can list about your services that you are offering they are pretty much same but uh, of course not all the same like they have different fields if we talk about the event and the services event should have a field for event date but in case of services uh, the event date is not required so of course they do have these different types of ad listing forms uh, first of all uh, uh, they have basic information then they have this location gallery details opening hours, pricing and bookable services, then they have booking and coupon widget. Um, these all, all of the, this information can be restricted via packages or to different users, to different, uh, so uh, people can earn uh, from their websites in this way. Uh, like if they offer a basic package they can off they can simply offer this small information but in their premium package they will be they will allow the user or customer to fill in all the things like they can also turn on these bookings for premium packages okay other than this and this uh, listing ad uh, listing uh, form is pretty much same for all the uh, listening types once you once you put all the information then you need to click on the preview and it will take you to the checkout page as well then you can see how many listings that you have added from here in this button and then you can go to active active listings are those which are active and if you go to the pending in the pending there will be listings which are not approved by the admin but are added by you in expired tab uh, those listings will appear which are expired like if you bought a listing for one month that will stay active for one month and after one month it will go to the expired tab so if you want to renew it and you want to publish it again you don't have to go to the all the hassle that you went while putting all the data you just simply go, go to this expired listing tab and that's it and the next thing is coupons all the coupons that are created by you and their usage and their every detail related to coupon will show here and you can also add new coupons if you want to offer something to your clients uh, you want to offer them some discount then you can uh, add a coupon from here there are different types of coupons there are percentage discounts discounts available on coupons and there are fixed amount priced uh, coupons are available as well you can select which coupon you want how many people can use it and uh, until when that coupon is applicable that is totally up to you if now we go to the next thing these are the reviews and these reviews are basically coming from the listings that you have added using this button so if you get any review that will be uh, seen from here from your user dashboard and other thing is to go to the listing and see it from the front end 
you can also filter out listings from here and then last but not the least it's the uh, your account profile where you can upload your picture and you can change your password and add some details of yours so because uh, if you are um, uh, if you want to represent yourself in a good way to your customer, I think it is it, it is good that you add your uh, account avatar and you add your some of these details so people can contact you in case of any need or in case of any query. So this is the user dashboard. Um, um, this is how and I have explained already what does it mean. Uh, how these things are being operated and this is the one this dashboard is basically give you the whole review uh, of your dashboard like the listings total views and everything related to that that we have seen in details on these tabs they are available their summary is available in this area called dashboard that is all uh, regarding the customer or the front end how you can use the website uh, how you can search that i have explained how you can search and how this user dashboard works so this is for for the beginners or for the people who are new to website uh, or specifically they are new to the listio they can uh, it this video is useful for those people you can also add your testimonials from here and it is basically organized by the admin only admin can add these testimonials and uh, uh, then you can write a blog this blog is also managed by the admin so if uh, anybody wants to add a blog of their business they need to contact the admin in order to add that blog so that's all for today um i hope this video helps you in any way um see you soon with another video